here and welcome to day two of our seven day sweat challenge. So be prepared to um, work up a sweat. We've got a quick warm up, 14 minute workout and then a quick cool down. So it should take us just under 20 minutes to get this workout done. Great way to kickstart your day. So this workout today, we've got seven different exercises. We do 35 seconds of work followed by 25 seconds of rest and we're gonna do two rounds. So we're gonna get started with a little bit of uh, a warm up. So feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down, abs pulled in, and we're just gonna start off, off with some squats. As we're warming up, just keep them small. If they hurt your knees, you can just turn out, turn your feet out a little bit, and just make sure these knees are staying behind your big toe. If you struggle with squats, then just grab a chair behind you and practice sitting down and coming up. Okay, so now we're gonna reach across to the side and now we're going to turn our hips all the way around and then reaching up to the corner slight bend in between and then twisting round and then a march so i want you to try your best with this workout try and keep moving if there's a particular exercise that doesn't work for you then just go back to like marching squatting jogging on the spot which we're now going to do now um, so just try and keep moving. For each exercise, I'm gonna give three different options, a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Pick the option that works for you. Okay, we're gonna do calf raises, because we're gonna do a little bit of jumping, so really warming up these legs. So yeah, pick the option that works for you, or why not kind of mix between? So maybe start with a slightly harder option into some lunges. And then if it gets too much for that 35 seconds, just rather than stopping, drop it down a level. Okay, a little twist to the side. And then keeping your hips facing me, we're gonna lunge to the side. So one leg's bent, other leg is straight. Okay, we're gonna breathe in. Grab one wrist, reach up into the side, look up to your elbow if you can, if that feels right on your neck. Come back to the centre, breathing in and breathing out. Looking up. Okay, give me a couple of arm circles back. And then forwards. And then we're pretty much ready to go. If you do have any hip, knee, ankle injuries, then keep to the beginner option, which I'm gonna try and keep low impact. Okay, so we're gonna get a timer. I will show you the first exercise. It's kind of a star jump, but a little bit of a variation we're coming. We cross our hands and we chop our hands out as our legs come out, in, out, in, out. Okay, option, so this is our beginner option with no impact, no jumping. And then I guess if we really want to advance this one, go back to um, a full on star jump where we come into the center, jump out, coming back in, out, back in. Okay, so we've got 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. As we rest, I will be telling you the next exercise, I'm gonna get this timer ready to go. And we're gonna go straight into it. Let's go. So we're chopping our arms. I think I've actually got my arms and feet going the wrong way, but you know what? It doesn't matter. So it's kind of a variation on the star jump. If this is a bit too much for you in terms of coordination, then just go back to a good old fashioned star jump or option to step out to the side and keep it low impact. But if you're doing this one with me, try and think really strong arms, engaged core. Okay, next one, switch kicks. I absolutely hate this move, but like medicine, sometimes it doesn't taste so good, but you just try it and then it makes you better. So we're gonna go for it, switch kicks. So arms by your sides, abs pulled in. If this is too much, you're gonna step and kick. And to progress this one, you're just gonna go quicker or have a bit more of a jump. Let's go. So try and keep up with me, or even better, try and go faster. Remember, option to step and kick. So really engage your abs. I really don't like this one. I don't know what it is about this move. <laughs> Try 
Try and keep these legs high as well. Again, option to modify, just to go a little bit lower with those legs. If you're needing a bit of motivation, get some music cranked on in the background as well. This will help you. So next one, jump squats. So beginner option, we just do squats. Option to use a chair, or if you want to progress it, go a little bit lower. Otherwise, we're going to jump out. Try and touch the floor. Otherwise, you don't have to. Let's go. And then those that really want to progress it, this is your progression. So I'm going to stick with a middle option. So really make sure your abs are engaged. So you're protecting your lower back. If you can't quite touch the floor, that's fine. And to touch the floor, make sure it's coming from your legs, bending, and not from your back and from your hips. I'm gonna stop talking now. Oh dear. So what I mean is, don't bend from your hips to touch the floor. You know, you're bending from your legs. Okay, next one, I like this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beginner option with no impact. Two steps to the side, two steps to the other side. If you want to progress this, really travel far and really make it quick. I'm going to start off at a steady pace so you can keep up with me and see the footwork. If you're new to this exercise, it does feel strange. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now we're going to speed it up. Try and go a bit quicker than me if you can. Option to just do two steps one way, two steps to your boy. Uh, okay, get your breath back. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely out of breath. Okay, next one, butt kicks. So beginner option, we're just gonna step to the side, lift that leg up at the back, heel towards your bum. To progress it, what I just showed you, and then even harder, get these arms pumping away. So I'm gonna start off steady with some butt kicks. I always like adding in my arms because the more body parts that you can get working out, the more benefit you're gonna get, the more it's gonna get your heart rate up, the more cal calories you're gonna burn. So if you wanna progress it, really speed up. Might look a little bit crazy with the arms, but that's fine. <sighs> keep breathing, keep smiling, and hold on in there till, till the bell. Okay, next one, throwing in another exercise that I do not like, planks. So beginners, all I want you to do is stay on a tabletop, one leg arm, one leg out, and in. Okay, others, you get a plank jack. Leg, you can do a step touch, or both legs at the time, and then advance, you progress with me. So, intermediate, in a plank position, abs engaged, legs out to the side. Advance, both legs. And then super advanced, tap your shoulder, as those legs are going out and in, and beginners, opposite arm and leg coming out from all fours. Pick the option that works for you or mix between all of them. Whew. Don't like that one. Okay, last one and then we've done round two. We're going to do a lunge backwards. So beginners, just lunge up and down on one leg. Next round, other leg. To progress it, we're going to punch down Punch across. Okay, so join in with me now. So beginner option, just doing single leg lunge. Other option, stick with me. Progression, adding that hop at the end. Ooh. So really engage these abs as you lift that knee up. Punch that arm to the side and get a twist in the core. Try and add in a few hops 
Don't worry if you stumble, that's okay too. Oh, 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 oh. Like, oh. Don't know about you, but my legs just went dead. Oh. Okay, 25 seconds. One more round, you can do it, stay with me. Rather than quitting and stopping, modify your options. Or just jog on the spot. Just try and keep it moving for these 35 seconds. Seven minutes in total. Star jumps. So if you're doing this one with me, I want your core engaged and nice sharp arms. So stay with me doing this movement. Beginners, step into the side. So just listen to your body, see what you can manage. If you did the first circuit as a beginner and you're feeling pretty good, then let's try and modify and progress it. And any advanced people, whew, I'm glad that bell went off quickly so I didn't have to do two more. But um, next one, my favorite exercise, <laughs> not switch kicks. So beginners can just stay with a step and a kick. To progress it, you're gonna add in that hop. If it's too much, keep the legs a little bit lower. To progress it, legs high, engage these abs, lift the knee up, then extend the leg. So think about lifting from the knee. Oh, why did I add in this exercise? I deliberately picked a few uh, exercises that I don't like. Because I know that the ones that I don't like are the ones that I probably need to practice and do more of. If you want to change it to a scissor, you can do as well. Keep breathing, keep smiling. And I don't know about you, but I always find it just, when I think I can't do any more, I just try and hold it in for a couple more seconds and then that timer goes and saves me. Jump squat. So stay in a squat, jump into a squat, or jumping up and down. Oh, I can't talk anymore. Okay, let's go. This one's gonna burn your legs. So not only should you be feeling quite hot and sweaty, some of these exercises like this one, it's gonna burn your legs. Oh, okay, remember, advanced people, this is your option and this is really gonna burn your legs. I'm not smiling, I ain't grimacing. Oh, oh, oh. And just make sure you don't do what I did at the end where you kind of fall forwards. To touch the floor, it's got to come from bending from the legs, not from the hips. Okay, one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Beginners. Side step, side step. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, knee, one, two, knee, one, two, knee, one, two, knee. Try and stay with me. We're gonna speed it up. Speeding it up. Stay with me. Anybody feel like they're tap dancing? Come on, keep going. Nearly there. I don't know if I was saying that for you guys or for me. <sighs> okay, three more exercises and then we are done, okay? So this workout is more challenging than the essays because we're doing 35 seconds of work rather than 30. We're only getting 25 seconds rest rather than 30. So that in itself is a progression. And just pick the level that works for you. We are doing butt kicks. So remember, beginners, step and kick. Otherwise, joining them with me now. And if you want to progress it, just get these arms going quicker. Get these legs going quicker. You can even do doubles if you want to start getting these legs to burn. Oh. 
So although this might feel challenging, it should be feeling good. This should be waking you up, getting the endorphins going, getting the blood pumping and getting you feeling good. And you might be feeling a little bit tired now, but you should be feeling good and proud of yourself for even pressing play and doing this workout. Two more exercises. So loads of options for this one. Opposite hand and leg. Otherwise plank, you could just hold it or you could step. You can do both legs. Join it with me now. So pick the option that works for you. Add in a shoulder touch if you can. So this is another exercise that I find really challenging. So if you're struggling to modify it if you want, but just try and keep moving. Okay, and jump back in. Five more seconds to go. <sighs> Last exercise, can't get my breath back. So, you work your right leg, swap. The left leg's gonna go back. Basic lunges, lunge, punch, lunge, hop. Pick which option. And I can't talk anymore. <laughs> but this is the last round, it's 35 seconds, that's all it is. So I'm gonna give my everything, even though I keep kicking a sofa behind me. I'm gonna burn my legs off by adding in that hop for a couple of rounds. A couple of reps. <sighs> if you struggle to balance with those lunges, just make sure that back leg is slightly apart from the front leg, so we're not on a tight rope. Wow, done. So with the lunges, you don't want to be on a tight rope. Take that leg slightly diagonal onto the side, so you've got a stable base. And if you're new to lunges, grab a chair or a sofa to balance on and practice your lunges. We are done. <laughs> You'll be happy to know. So I don't know about you, but I'm certainly out of breath. <sighs> yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm certainly very much out of breath, breathing in, breathing out. But even if you just hit play and did one exercise, you should still feel proud of yourself for, for starting something today. Breathing in. Breathing out, getting a gentle stretch to the side. If it feels okay in your neck, looking into the eye of your elbow, other side, up and over. So you might be feeling really tired now and you might want to just collapse on the floor, but try not to, okay? So try and join in and do this cool down. And what's really important is that we get our heart rates to come gradually down, change legs. So side lunge to one side to the other so when you're working out you are pumping the blood from your heart and movement is pumping that around and then it goes to your extremities and then what's really important is that when you finish exercising you don't just sit down or lie down you actually use movement to keep that blood moving and back to your heart breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out just some gentle twist to the side. So with HIT, if you are new to HIT, HIT and to exercise in general, try and stick with the beginner options and the low impact options, just to get your body used to the movements before you start adding in that jumping. Just that will help prevent any kind of injuries. And also if you're new to HIT, you should be kind of on a rate of one to 10, when 10 is the hardest and you're like late for work and you're sprinting for that train. Um, not that we do that too much at the moment with lockdown. Um, and we'll, one, you sat on sofa watching Netflix. Um, you should be working at a seven out of 10. For more experienced exercises and people that have done um, HIIT or interval training, you should be aiming for about an eight or a nine out of 10. And this is what I love about HIIT is that anyone could do the same exercises and the same movements. And even if you're a beginner and really unfit, or you're super fit and a professional athlete, you can still do the same exercises and get the same benefits because you're working at your own level that works for you. <sighs> okay, so one last one, 
grab a chair if you need to, one leg on top of the knee, and you're gonna do a little squat down, so you're gonna feel stretch here in the side of your butt. And then change. So I, what I would strongly recommend is if you've got more time, then take a little bit longer to let your heart rate come down and to do some more stretching. Or what if you've got time, try one of my 10 minute yoga videos. Um, I am trying to keep these videos short and sweet so we don't go over 20 minutes, really aiming for about 15 to 18 minutes. So they're perfect for you to just get up in the morning, do a quick workout and crack on with the rest of your day. But if you have more time, do take time to recover and do some stretching or in an evening do some stretching or at least twice a week and that will really help your body uh, recover. Thank you for doing the workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment and share. And most importantly, share the workouts with your friends and with your family and encourage them to do them too. Take care, have a great day, great evening, whatever you are up to, and I will see you soon. Bye.